this describes what plagiarism and cheating are are um, pretty much what comprises that. So what what makes it up, what constitutes it. Um, I will read my specific penalties. They're very short. It requires a very strong ethical foundation. And I just I'm just not going to tolerate any form of cheating. Just don't don't do it. Do your own work. It's not cool to you. Not cool to the other people you're cheating off. And it and it and it cheats the school. And it, and it's going to come back to bite you when you get a job. You need to know what you what you need to know when you get get the work. Your employers are going to expect you to know it. So just don't cheat. Do your own work. Um, offenders will be dealt with according to Bluefield State's academic honesty policy. So you can refer to the student handbook to catch up on that code there. Drop stuff. You're on your on your cell phone. So if you get in the habit of bringing a calculator to class and not using your cell phone, then we're not going to run into an issue on exam day. And you 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 want to use your cell phone for a calculator because that's not happening. Or no cell phones. I'm sorry. Definitely the calculator. No cell phones. Um, students need to just raise their hand if they ask questions and not just open open discussions. Uh, I look forward to to getting everyone comfortable in class and talking. But we need to do it respectively to the other people and and to the instructor. Um, if you're a first responder, if you have to take a call, I'm not saying you can't keep your phone on vibrate. You can even sit on your desk. I don't care. Just, you know, get it. You don't have to ask me. Just get up, leave the room, you know, quietly. Don't interrupt and take care of what you need to take care of and come back. Same thing, bathroom, all that stuff. We're all grown ups here. Just be respectful to others and just, just pay attention to the lecture. That's all I ask. Contact hours, they're listed on, in the above on the syllabus here. But pretty much you can you can reach out to me anytime email or leave me a, a message on my office phone number that 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 information is listed above on the instructor information on the first page um, email is going to be preferred in the quickest mode of communication please allow 24 hours monday through friday for a response um, on the weekends i do reserve the right to wait till monday to get back with you however i'm going to try to be responsive to your needs and respond as soon as i can i just wanted to point that out as i do when you reach out to me um, course policies, this is this class is a hybrid and will not meet every week. So the instructor will determine what days the class will meet. Students are required to attend class the days that we meet in the classroom. Attendance will be taken at the beginning of each class. Two unexcused absences will be dropped from the course. Really, it's supposed to be one with it being one day a week, but I understand sometimes things do happen. So I'm gonna give a little leadway here. Just make sure you're coming when we when we come to class. And like I said before, we're not gonna be meeting every week. So it's really there's no excuse for not being able to come make it to class one one day a week every now and then. Um, I do not accept any late assignments. There's been issues in the past. Um, I just want to make this very clear. That's why all this stuff's in red. Anyone who does not turn their work in on time will receive will receive a grade of zero on that assignment. And you're, um, and really, there's no excuse for that either. The amount of work that I give, you know, it, it, it is it is difficult by nature just because of the nature of the content we're covering in accounting. Accounting tends to be more difficult, but. I give plenty of time for assignments to be, be turned in, and especially with the volume of work that I, that I assign. I don't believe with bogging people down with a bunch of busy work. I just like getting right to the point and hitting the main topics and, and let that be that. Um, any student that has not completed the assignments that are due by the end of the second week of class will be dropped from the course. I'm just not getting off to a bad start. If you don't want to do your work, then you really don't need to be in the class. So just stay on top of it from, from the beginning. Um, the late exam will not be allowed unless there are extenuating circumstances with documentation. If you cannot make it in class for the exam, contact me before so that arrangements can be made. Um, if, you, if you miss an exam for any reason, I reserve the right a different format during finals week. I'm not going to go over exams in class as this is already a condensed, condensed semester with, with the COVID issues. So if you have issues on exams and you want to talk to me, I will be more than glad to go over the entire exam. We're going to do it in class. Um, this, towards, this course will be taught using a mix of PowerPoint lecture and solving assigned homework problems. Um, this here, this is this is specifically due to COVID here, and this is still part of the classroom policies. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will read the the first sentence of it here, so you get a, get a gist of what it, what it's saying here. If you have a class sessions due to illness or other temporary.